hybrid product as well okay. uh, that you'll see in there called the Smart PC. But the nice thing about our products, like I said, um, we, we have something for anybody. It doesn't matter, doesn't matter what type of consumer you are. So here I have the Series 9. This is our flagship uh, lineup over here. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, if you've seen our Series 9 before, you know that they're incredibly thin, incredibly light. Yeah. These two are both the 15-inch models. They also come in 13-inch, which we don't have here. Sure. Thinnest and lightest 15-inch uh, Ultrabook on the market. Now, um, I mentioned these are non-touch products, right? Mm -hmm. So, if you're not familiar with uh, uh, Windows 8 on a non-touch product, see the misconception is consumers think that you have to use Windows 8 on touch, mm -hmm. which is not the case, yeah. right? So on our products, you notice we have a large touchpad or click pad, which makes it easier for you to navigate through, right? Mm -hmm. Two finger swipe to scroll. You can also pinch as well. If I can get my, uh, there you go. You can also pinch to zoom as well. Um, so the gestures are, are built into the, the gestures hardware. are built yeah. into the to the click pad drivers, okay. right? So the gestures that you're used to swiping from the left, the mm -hmm. right, the top, all work with this, right? So you have a browser open, so I can switch, and of course this opens up the menu item over there. And if you have room, this one you do have room to swipe from the top as well, which opens up your uh, mm -hmm. your your sub menus here, yeah. right? So just because it's a non-touch product doesn't mean that it's not usable on Windows 8. Right. We make it easy. Luckily, we have a large click pad. So that's great. This used to be, by the way, each component, because it's a unibody design, used to be a slab of aluminum. Right. Right? CNC machining was used to get it to this form. And the diamond edging, like I said, is a nice touch. It adds a nice uh, contrast to the ash black. Right? Mm -hmm. So it's raw aluminum look over there. Okay? Matte finish, so it's actually sandblasted material on this series nine. So it's not painted. It's not painted. It's it's sandblasted. It's actually painted, but instead of having gloss, right. right? It's sandblasted because if you're familiar with our uh, some of our older laptops, they were all glossy, mm -hmm. which is nice. However, fingerprints would, would be an issue. Yeah. On this, you're not getting that issue, right? Uh, interface on there. So which model is it? Right. So this one's called the 540 NP540 U3C. Okay. Right. It's in stores now. It's going for about 1049 retail price, mm -hmm. uh, and it is a uh, certified uh, Ultrabook uh, from Intel there. So Core i5 processor. I'll provide you the specs uh, later on on the, on the data sheet. The nice thing about it is the, uh, the finish on there. So I'll unplug it. Uh, aluminum finish, first aluminum on the exterior, which is beautiful, right? Yeah. Uh, this happens to be fiberglass though, to shave a little bit of weight off, okay. right? Make it a little bit lighter. Um, if you want to go over connectivity, so you might have seen this on our series, um, previous series 5 models or perhaps a series 7. Sure. Right, full size LAN uh, port for you there, USB 3.0, full size HDMI, uh, a port for obviously your microphone and headphone jack. Mm -hmm. Again, like on the series 9, this is for an optional VGA dongle for okay. using VGA. On the right side, two USB uh, 2.0 ports and of course your uh, SD 3 in 1 yeah, slot. So it doesn't or. compromise on ports. No, no, that's the thing. So yeah. it's, it's thin and light, great for, it, it could be students, business professionals.